nde ewone ndi nkem ta anya eshi ofen sala ihe awo ihe ai ga eji eshi ya here are my ingredients fresh catfish dried fish stock fish aka oporoko as well merame for my spices slash seasoning i have seasoning cubes cameroon pepper uziza seed ogiribo and salt for the rest of my ingredients i have peppers onions crayfish and these two are my thickness yam this is frozen and potatoes guy be the Guys, this is one of the best Igbo soup. Oh, I like it so much. Now, kaisa oporoko na dried fish. Odempa i use miroko ko wepu that's no nime oporoko na dried fish. water to remove that wash it very well so that you don't transfer sand in your soup Now I'm done cleaning the fish. Now it's time to chop my peppers and onions. This recipe happens really quick, so it's good to prep before making this soup. Set aside. Okay, we are done prepping. Let's start cooking. Salt, seasoning cubes, my blended peppers and onions, add water, gently stir. Now add your thickener, potatoes and yam, allow to cook. Now let's the bone the macro fish. Here are my the bone macro fish. Here are the bones. Now let's check on the soup. Let's check on the yam and potatoes. The potato is done. And so is the yam. There's no more. There's no more potatoes and yam. So. So now I'll put my blended crayfish. Let's rinse it with a tiny bit of water. Time to add my okiri bone. Tiny bit of water to rinse. Oziza seed and Cameroon pepper. Now I will add my Azua Merame, aka smoked mackerel fish. 
Gently mix so that the fish won't scatter. Allow to simmer for more. Now I'm going to blend my yam and potatoes. You can pound it if you have a mortar, but I have a blender, so I'm going to use that blender to blend my thickener. Now it's time to add our thickener, but gradually so that we can get the right consistency. Now I'll allow it to simmer and I'll check up on it and the consistency later. Now I'll check on my soup. Okay, let's check on the salt. I think it I think I'm gonna add more thickener because the consistency it needs more thickener. So I'll add more thickener. Okay, I'll allow it to simmer even further and I'll check up on it later. Okay, this is spinach. Just to imitate oziza leaf, I don't have oziza leaf, but I recommend using oziza leaf in your soup. So I'm going to cut it in a way that it will look like oziza leaf because I don't have oziza leaf. This is what you call, if the desirable is not available, then the available becomes the desirable. <laughs> And plus, I'm putting spinach in to also bring life to the soup. So that's why we're using spinach. The consistency looks so perfect. Just the way I like it. Mm -hmm. To finish it off, I'll add my spinach. Or ozeza leaves. Just a little stirring. And I'm all done. I can't stir it so violently or else the fish will just break apart. So gentle stirring only for this soup. And it's done. Turn off the heat and your soup is done. so good once it cools down that's when it's going to be its best state i'm telling you now let's make pounded yam Let's try my creation. Mm. The fish is so flavorful. Try my soup. Ngwa. Gasa ka. Is that good? Is that a question? Try it, try the soup. Mm -hmm. Try the soup here, yeah. there's no problem with that.
Mm-hmm. Ten out of ten. Yeah. You're good. No, I'm gonna say nine because I know what I want done, so yeah. <laughs> Speechless. Damn.